Thorium Remix are a series of videos I released to spread understanding of nuclear power, molten salt reactors, and the thorium fuel cycle which they enable. In this video, I am not going to talk about any of that. No nuclear power, no molten salt, no thorium. I'd like to talk about the Remix aspect of this project and how you can create your very own documentary on these subjects. Hosted on your own YouTube channel, which you control 100%. You can even run ads in front of it. If you are already familiar with video editing, then simply use a tool like 4K Downloader to rip the 1080p MP4 files off YouTube, or pledge $1 a year on my Patreon campaign and download the original MP4 renders from there. If you are new to video editing, or don't have any video editing software on your computer, then this is the video for you. YouTube has a tool called YouTube Video Editor, and I'm going to step you through the creation of your own documentary using it. You need a Mac, Linux, or Windows PC. If your browser runs the editor, then you have Adobe Flash. If you don't, then install it now, ideally in the Chrome browser. Google makes Chrome, and Google owns YouTube, so it seems to be the best browser for this. Then, go to thoriumremix.com and click the Remix button at the top. There you'll find a page with all the links for the tabs you need to open. One of the documents I like to keep open is a Google spreadsheet containing a transcript of Thorium Remix 2016. That's the 6.5 hour documentary I created in 2016. You can see there's about 5,600 cells worth of English transcript data. And time codes. The time codes are pretty important if you want to navigate something that long. You of course don't have to work with something as long as a 6.5 hour documentary. We also have shorter and simpler projects to work from. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to work with the 6.5 hour documentary. Next, open a playlist containing the pieces we want to work with. The two playlists I'm going to ask you to open are Thorium 2016 Chunk Size with Music. Click. And go back here, hit the other one. 2016 Atom Size with Music. Atom Size with Music. Okay, so looking at the chunk size, you'll see the chunk one is broken into 33 parts, and the atom one is broken into 712 parts. So these are both referring to the same 6.5 hour documentary, but one of them is looking at it in big pieces, chunks, and the other one's looking at it in tiny pieces, atoms. Let's make a video about gasoline. If we're worried about global warming, then we need to do something about all the gasoline we're burning. Electric cars are still pretty expensive, so what else can be done? We open the spreadsheet and use Control F to find in sheet and type in the word gasoline. One of eight occurrences. And we can step through them by clicking around here. The first one is an observation that roads today are filled with gasoline cars. The second one is Kirk suggesting we can manufacture carbon neutral diesel and gasoline. Looking at the time codes in the spreadsheet, we can see they both happen around the 1 minute, 39 minute mark. Let's first look in chunks for a really big video clip on this. Let's see, C is for chunks, A is for atoms, let's go into chunks. It looks like this one here, number 8, starts at about the right time and runs for 8 minutes. So that's going to contain both mentions of gasoline we saw. Let's watch that. Now before we click on this video, I need to tell you we do most of our activities by opening new tabs, not changing the current tab we're on. So this is me changing the current tab we're on by left clicking. You know, you guys should elect okay. an engineer president. Going back. And this is me doing the same thing by right clicking and opening a new tab, which we then have to click on. You, know, you guys should elect an engineer president. I'll talk about the right clicking habit in a moment. You know, that's, that's what Chinese do. The Chi you know, all our political leaders are lawyers and all of China's political leaders are engineers. <laughs> so, oh gosh. We're going broke. We're mired in debt. We don't have as many scientists. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead here. Just as we want. You. Nuclear energy. Why thorium? To develop what they call reactors. The big oils. Something to me like dream. If we can produce a car developed by Chinese academic sciences, 
We used to have a dream: if we can produce a clean electricity, then we can drive our electrical car. However, if you look at this, as of today, it's all gasoline cars. So it makes our job even impossible. We need a revolutionary something happen. Okay, so that's the moment we want there. But the clip is bigger than we want. We're talking about U.S. politicians being lawyers, not engineers. That's a narrative framing because I'm switching topics in the original six-hour documentary. But we don't need it for our short video about gasoline. So instead of using this big eight-minute chunk, let's find gasoline in a smaller video piece. Let's look in the atoms. Close this tab. Back to atoms. And let's see. So 712 videos. That's a lot of videos, and we don't even have that in the first hundred. It only loads a hundred at a time. So let's load more. What was that time code we want? We want about a one hour thirty eight minutes. So you can see in the atoms, I've named all of the videos with hours, minutes, seconds, and even frames.、Um, so for chunks, it wasn't so important that I name it like that. I gave the chunks more meaningful titles up front about what they're talking about. But with atoms, what with 700 videos and all, it's really important to be able to navigate the time codes. One hour. Here we are at one hour 38 minutes 33 seconds. This is clip 170. Let's check that by right click, then open in new tab. Here is pure electrical car developed by Chinese Academy of Sciences. We used to have a dream if we can produce a clean electricity. Okay, so this is the clip we want. There's a little at the start we could trim off, but for now we won't worry about that. We'll close this playback tab and go back to this clip that we grabbed. And this time I'm going to right-click and go copy link address. Now we're going to open up the editor. I'm going to reorganize these tabs so they make sense to me personally. And so when I use the least. Right-click, copy link address, go into the editor, paste that URL into the video search field. So most people probably use the YouTube editor and search for video titles, but we use it to search for video URLs. Let's drag the video we want into our timeline here, and we've started assembling our own video. You might want to close this. That's how、here、you get back to the search field. Pure electrical. Yeah, it auto played again. That's great. Now we can use the YouTube editor to trim off the start of that clip. Let's skip past the shot of their electric car. Car developed by Chinese Academy of Sciences. There, I paused it. All we have to do here is click on this little scissor split clip here. There, now、here、we've got two clips in our timeline. Pure electrical car. You can imagine this is right after he mentions the car. So I'm going to click this little X to delete this clip. We used to have a dream if we can produce. A There we go. We've got the first 20 seconds. So we might as well give this a proper name: carbon neutral gasoline. So looking back at this clip here, if I we click, we used to have a dream if we can produce. So I click back on there, and you get these options again. So one of these is actually pretty useful. Enter text here, and、um, one thing I do sometimes out of habit is I go Control A to highlight the contents of a field. So, for example, if I'm here and I want to paste over top of the previous entry,、uh, sometimes I'll go Control A before Control V, and that'll paste over top of everything. That's like that's the same as deleting it before you paste. So you're not pasting two things in one box. Back here with the text. We used to have a dream if. We In the 6.5-hour documentary, I could easily have been flashing someone's name on screen, outside of the clips we're going to be using in our short video. So here, we might want to tell people who this guy is. We used to have a dream. If we can you believe everything I do on here makes it autoplay? Oh, I need to enable text as well. We used to have a dream. If we can produce. Okay, that's it. That's just awful-looking sized font and gray banner, but we'll tweak it later. We'll just keep going for now. So here we're only being told roads are full of gasoline cars. We haven't got to the solution, because we're using the tiny atom clips. We need more to finish the thought. 
What's the next one? Let's go back to Adams here. Next one is 171. Right click, copy link address, go back into the editor, close here to get back to our search field. We used to have a dream if we can produce control the clean v. electricity. Then or control we can A, control V. Our electrical if you car. still have something there. However, let's drag it in. If you look at this, we need a revolutionary something happen. Okay, so let's just keep going through here until we finish the thought. If we look at our Atom playlist, we can see that this thought continues for about nine clips. It's going to continue all the way through to 179. So let's just keep going. Right click copy link address, copy paste these in one after the other. So, we used to have a control A, produce control V to paste over top, then we search, can drive our drag. Car. We're still going to need liquid. I'm going to close this trunk tab. We can always go back to it later if we ever care about it. Okay, let's grab our next one here. Right click, copy link address, control A, control V, search, drag. The opportunities. Okay, copy link address, close. We used to have a dream. Control A, control V, clean electricity. search. Then we can drive drag. our electric. All right, so. Copy link address, close. We used control to have a dream. A, control if we v. can produce a clean electricity, then we can drag. drive the ocean. Right click, copy link address, close, control A. We used to have a dream. If control we can v. produce a clean electricity, then we can drive. And what's going on? We're just going to keep copying every one of these over. We used to have a dream. Now you'll notice that these thumbnails don't look like the thumbnails here. I don't know why, that's just the way it is. Copy link address. We used to have a dream if we can produce a clean electricity. Then we really, that's why I put the time codes up front in the atoms. Is uh, the only way to know exactly what you're looking at, except for playing it, is to hover over and see these time codes appear. Those are incredibly useful. So what happened? Right click, copy link address, and you can see this thought ends on virtual carbon cycle. The next one is talking about rocket fuel on Mars. So this is the last one. We used to have a dream, if we can produce a clean electricity, then we can drive and our electricity. If you do just basic heist. And you can see if we scroll down a bit here, there's um, some zoom features for the timeline. We used line. to have a dream, if we can... You can move along here and zoom out. We were just working with something so short that this didn't, uh, this didn't come into effect, really. Uh, if you're working with longer assemblies, of course, you'll be messing around with those. And you'll be noticing how the autoplay keeps starting at the far left. And that's kind of why I shy away from doing a lot of trimming in the YouTube editor and anything too complicated. I did a lot of work breaking this thing down into atoms so that you could construct things by putting smaller pieces together, which is a lot easier than doing fine tweaks on larger pieces. The larger the piece, the harder it is to work with. How about we watch this and see how it's playing back? We used to have a dream, if we can produce a clean electricity, then we can... Okay, that name is driving me crazy. So let's say banner opacity. Let's make the banner 0%. The settings I'm picking right now don't look the very best. They're just easy to follow. We used to have a dream, we if we can produce a clean electricity. Okay, so now we have a complete video. So you could start creating your own video and it'll uh, put it on your own YouTube channel. I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking here because I know that there's some things I would like to change. Dr. Stephen Boyd, he's making great points, but... We need the energy to convert them, but we need the high temperature. So right now, Dr. Stephen Boyd is about to appear. I'm gonna split this clip up 
and delete Dr. Stephen Boyd because we used to have a dream. If the more people we introduce, the more complicated it gets, and we have to add more uh, names in front of each person. So here we go. We can just take Dr. Stephen out. We used to have a dream. If Mike Connolly here and from water. Assumption of a way of getting the full life cycle out of the infrastructure we've already built up because you don't want to just abandon the infrastructure we've already built. So we can delete Mike Connolly too, just to keep this very simple. We used to have a dream if we delete can Dr. produce. Delete Dr. Stephen Boyd. We used to have a dream if we can produce. So now it's just these two guys, Dr. Jiang Meng Heng and Don Larson. But we need the high temperature. All right. As it so happens, there's a nice five second introduction where Don starts talking, so we could use that to title him as well. All right. So let's go to text. Enable text. All right, so. Okay, control A. And we'll change right, the size. So this is small. the work. All right, then so this is zero. the work that's. Act All right, so. Let's go to the end. We used to. And it's cleaner. It doesn't have the sulfur compounds in it, it doesn't have the night. The ocean turned it into the fuel. Technology breakthrough. Ocean, it is the same as taking it out of the atmosphere. It will pass from the air. Okay, that is a completed video, and it looks like the final runtime is 4 minutes 51 seconds. That's nice and short, so let's click Create Video. It's processing the video. I know from experience that that window never changes, so let's go My Videos. And here, we've got our very first video. Preparing Upload, I think it's copying the video data from server to server. One thing you might want to do is change the default. It's going to be a public video, unlisted. So that way we can flip it to public later. And of course that's up to you, but you want to have a proper description and tags and stuff like that. Now, in the spirit of Lifter in 5 Minutes, which was created by Ross using YouTube Editor and collected over 2 million views, let's call this one Carbon Neutral Gasoline in 5 Minutes. You could make it a Creative Commons video so other people could copy your copy or you could copy your copy. And of course there's monetization. You are completely free to monetize these videos you copy. I'll let you do your own exploration of how to monetize. Back in my videos to monitor progress. Oh, 45% processed. YouTube editor is not frame accurate, so I usually keep my videos unlisted, and then I plan on watching them before I flip them public, just to make sure that there's no tiny errors. So even if you created an hour-long custom video, if you want to be nitpicky, you actually want to watch the entire hour over again just to be sure it's a clean edit. That's all you need to know to build your own custom edit. Change it back from unlisted to public and you can start sharing. Editing can get more complicated if you start using clips that contain music. That's why I have other playlists that say no music. You can use those and not have music cutting abruptly in and out if you cut between musical tracks or from a clip with music to one without. The music in Thorium Remix was composed by Kilowatts He's contacted his music label so that your custom edit can use his music without blocking you from running ads. Normally, using copyrighted music causes all sorts of trouble on YouTube. That's all you need to know to get started. You can stop watching this video and start editing your own video right now. If you want to keep listening for a moment, I have a couple thoughts on YouTube propagation I'd like to share. The most important thing you can do is to have a compelling opening moment. Don't start with a boring title card or title sequence. Just get right into it. Don't waste anyone's time or they'll flip to something else. Once you've caught their interest, then you can loosen it up and give ideas more time to sink in. Shorter is better. Obviously, I'm not following my own advice by uploading a 6.5 hour documentary, and my view numbers reflect that. But the reason my video is 6.5 hours long is I want to cover a wide range of topics for you to sample from. There's about 30 topics covered. If I made an hour long documentary for every combination of just 3 of those 30 topics, we'd have 30 times 29 times 28 possibilities. That's over 24,000 videos. My approach, allowing YouTube editor to import my videos and asking kilowatts to address music licensing issues, is so creative people like you can figure out various combinations which resonate with people. 
This is something I'd like to crowdsource because it depends so much on appreciating other people's perspectives on topics I cover. Some people's biggest concern is American competitiveness. Others worry about global warming, and some others the safety of existing nuclear reactors. And oddly enough, often the very same people who want us to reduce our carbon emissions are calling for our existing reactors to be shut down. So there's communication challenges to be surmounted that are kind of tricky and require custom solutions for custom audiences. I don't think there can ever be one perfect video on the topic of thorium, molten salt reactors, or nuclear power. Rather, we need dozens of perfect videos, one for each target audience, to address their particular priorities and concerns. If you intend to watch it so you know exactly what topics are covered, then I suggest taking a few notes while you watch, particularly the time code when something interesting is mentioned. Having a list of favorite time codes is a great way to start.